Hello there, this is Miss Amy to do another fun art project with you today. Um, today we're going to do some drawing and create some wonderful texture in this cute shaggy dog. So let's see what art supplies you need to complete this project. You will need a piece of drawing paper or plain white paper will work also. You will need a pencil, an eraser, and a piece of paper towel. That is all you need for that project. So let's get started on this fun shaggy dog. All right, so we're gonna put our paper in portrait direction, but you could actually do it either way that you want. It'll fit either way nicely on the paper. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and do mine this way but you can change your paper direction if you want. No worries. All right, so I'm gonna start with my pencil here. And I'm, I usually try to find the center of my paper. So there's about the center of my paper and I'm just gonna drag my finger down just a little bit. And that's where I'm gonna put the nose of my dog because that gives me plenty of room up here for the head and everything. Uh, to make sure that it fits on my paper. So when we draw, oh, before we get started, I just wanna talk just a little bit about texture. Um, many of you probably know this, but texture is how something feels. Like if you were to feel your shirt or the table, it has, it has a different feel to it, that's texture. And when you're doing art or do a uh, drawing, you can't make it actually feel like something but you can create it so that it looks like it feels, um, looks like it has texture, texture. And that's what we're gonna create today. So the way we draw this dog is gonna make it look like it has this wiry or this um, fluffy hair. So we're gonna create texture by how we do the drawing. All right, so for the dog nose, all dog noses are pretty much the same. Um, if yours is a little bigger, a little smaller, that's no problem. So I draw a dog nose this way. I start with a little line going down and I make a J and then I make a backwards J. Now, I don't know if any of you like to eat mushrooms, but I always think the top of a dog's nose kind of looks like the top of a mushroom. So what I'm gonna do is come over here a little bit past my J. I'm gonna leave a little bit of blank space there. And I'm just gonna make a big top of a mushroom on come around and stop before I get to the other backwards J there. So see how I left a little bit of space there? That's what we wanna do. And then where uh, we have that space, we're gonna start there on that this curved line we're going to start there and just draw a circle up and come down and connect it to that other space and that is the nostril for the dog to breathe it's kind of like almost like a little balloon there now i'm going to do the same thing on the other side start at my line come up and make the nostril and then connect it on the other side so now we have two nostrils and that's a basic dog nose so um Yours can be a little bigger, as I said, or a little smaller, no problem. All right, so then I'm gonna draw the little mouth. So I'm just gonna make a line coming down at an angle, almost like little legs there, and then do it this way. And then I make a little curve line to represent the mouth. Now with this dog, I'm not gonna create a tongue or anything because um, we're gonna have so much hair. I don't wanna uh, make a tongue for this dog, but you can if you want. All right, and so then I'm going to take right in the middle of the nose here, kind of this line. I'm just gonna follow that up and start here and do a really light line. I don't know if you could barely see it. I don't want a thick line or a heavy line there. Just want a little bit of a line because I kind of want it to disappear later. So I'm just gonna do it really lightly. And then on the side of my nose from about right here, I'm gonna draw a line up and curl, curve it over for the eyebrow of my dog. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. The face of a dog should be symmetrical. So it should look pretty much the same on both sides. And so that's what we're trying to create. So everything we do on one side, we wanna to try to create that same look on the other side. 
All right, and so then under the eyebrows, now I'm gonna draw the eyes. Now your eyes can be smaller or bigger depending on what type of dog it is. Um, I'm gonna make my eyes just a little bit more rounded, I think, than in my example. So I'm gonna make just a curved line. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Kind of looks like a little rainbow shape there. And then I'm gonna do a line underneath that to be the bottom of the eye. All right, and then inside the eye, the iris, you really don't see a lot of the white of the dog's eye. So I'm gonna make a big circle that touches the top and the bottom of that space. And the same thing on the other side is gonna to touch the top and the bottom. And then I'm gonna make the pupil. And I just make a half of circle, kind of an upside down rainbow shape. Um, dogs are smaller than we are and they look up at us and so I think this dog looks really cute if it kind of looks like it's looking up at us. All right, so that's the basic face. Now we get to do the fun part is add all that fun hair. So what are what we're drawing is we're just going to draw some lines, basically, is all we're doing. And, and we want to just put the lines in different shape or in different directions. Um, so we're gonna start in one area and work our way around the dog because we're gonna draw lines in different directions. And they're all gonna be lines. We're not gonna scribble, color, it's all gonna be lines. So I start right here by the nose and I just follow the shape of the mouth, go along the nose, drawing lines. And then as I get around the nose, I start going the opposite direction. So I kind of curve down with my lines and I go right around the nose there and then kind of stop when I get to that line. And I just draw a bunch of lines and I'm pushing down, I'm getting a little pressure on my pencil so I get some nice dark lines there. And you can overlap them. I like to do it kind of quick because then it gives my lines a more natural look than me trying to perfectly make a line there. If you just kind of do it quick, it can give a more natural look to your line. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, but I'm going the opposite direction. And then as I get around the nose, I'm going to go down with my lines, point them down toward, curve them down towards the bottom of my paper. And the reason it's going to give that note, that rounded look to the snout of the dog. See, it depends on whatever direction you put your lines is going to give that look to your dog. So if I curl them up, it's going to make the nose look like it curls up in that direction. No, we didn't. Most dogs have that rounded snout and the hair hangs down. Okay, so after I do several lines and overlapping them, I'm gonna do the chin now and see that little line I made for the mouth. I'm gonna start there and just make some little, little curved lines a little bit that come down and make the chin of the dog. You can have your hair longer or shorter. It depends if this dog needs a haircut or not. It's totally up to you. You can do that how you like. All right, so now we're gonna work our way up the face. So that center line that we made here, we're gonna make the hair, I'll show you on my example so you understand. That's that line that I made right up here and I'm gonna start there and from that line and curve the hair down. And that's when a dog's hair is long like that, it kind of grows out from the nose like that. So, so I'm gonna start with that line and I'm just gonna curve it around in a down, kind of down, just like I did these ones, curving down towards the bottom of my paper. And I'm gonna follow that line all the way up to when I get to the eye, and then I'm gonna stop there. And I'm just gonna do a bunch, a whole bunch of lines. And I'm using a little bit heavier pressure just so I get a nice dark line. Now your lines may not be quite as dark as mine because if you might be using a slightly different pencil than me, I'm using a pencil that has a really soft lead, and so it makes darker lines. So don't worry if yours isn't quite as dark as that, that's okay. It depends on what pencil you're using. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Make a bunch of lines, curving down. And then when I get up near the eye, I'm going to stop. And I need to sharpen the pencil. So when you use a softer lead, you will need to sharpen it a little more often. All right, add a few more lines in there. All right, so now that's looking cute. So now I still have that line that goes up here. 
and I'm, I want to go over the eye now with my hair. So I'm going to start at that middle line and I'm going to come over the eye. Over the, make those long eyebrows. And I'm going to follow my line all the way up till I get to where how high, high I want my head. And I probably want it just about there. Yours may vary a little bit different than mine. That's okay. And I'm just going to continue making those. Sometimes you turn your paper, it's easier to make those curved lines. Curving them over the eye. And I do the same thing on the other side. Curving them over the eye. And if you're not quite liking lines, don't worry, because you can go back later and change them. So don't worry. You can. Uh, we'll be doing some different techniques so that you can add more, or erase some. Okay, I like to make a few little hairs to kind of sticking up on the head. I think that's cute. So there's the top of the head of my dog with all that long hair. He kind of needs a haircut, I think. All right, once I've done that, made all my hair, I'm going to just make a few underneath my eye, following the shape of my eye. Just a few kind of filling in that space there. All right, and now we've got... Um, our face, like the cheeks of our dog. So we have the, the nose or the snout, and then we want to add a little bit of hair on each side just to create that fate, the side of the face. So what I do is I just start under the eye here and I put lines go facing down, curving slightly down and to make that cheek of my dog there. You don't need as many lines there, overlapping them. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side just to make that cheek of my dog. Okay, looking good. All right. So last thing we need to create these lines, we need to create the dog's ears. And so what I do, you can, if your ears want to stand up a little bit, they can stand up. If they want to hang down, it's totally up to you. So I'm, what I do is I just kind of make the outline of where I want my ears to go. So I'm just drawing a little line. Mine are going to be a little bit long on this dog. And so um, I'm going to just make that outline where I'm going to put all my, my hair. And then I'm just going to follow those, follow those lines. And I make short lines, long lines. It depends. You can have curly ears by making more um, curvy lines. It's totally up to you. He's got the long ears, long hair here. Sometimes I make them look like they're sticking up a little bit. You can do whatever you want there, however you want to make your ears. Same thing on the other side here. And I'm using a little bit heavier pressure on my pencil so I get a nice dark line. And you'll see why. Just a bit. There, he's looking cute. All right. So once you have all, some hair in like that, um, we're going to go through and we're going to uh, do the eyes, nose, and mouth. And then we'll work on the hair some more. So um, obviously we want a little bit different texture on the nose and the mouth and the eyes because um, they are smoother and not as um, furry and stuff as the hair. So what I do is I take my pencil and let me grab this pencil, is that lead broke? And I'm just gonna color real darkly. I'm gonna fill that in so it's all colored. That mouth area is really dark. It's kind of a little shadow there. You can't really see in the mouth because of all the hair. So I'm just going to make sure it's all filled in. No white paper showing through. Really dark there. The next thing I'm going to do dark is the nostrils. So I'm going to color those in really dark. Like I'm using some pretty heavy pressure to get that really dark look. And then I do a little bit of dark kind of on that J. 
kind of make that a little thicker and darker there. And then I do the pupils. So those black dots in the, the dog's eye, I color those in really dark. So we kind of want to have that almost look black. And then the nose, even though it's a black nose, it's going to be slightly less dark than the nostrils. So I am going to color it in, but I'm not going to use quite as heavy of pressure. I'm still going to use some pressure because I want it to be darker than the hair around it, but I don't want it to be as dark as the nostrils. And I'm trying to be really careful and color all of it in so I have no white paper showing through. So I'm taking my time here and just really making sure I color that in nice and smooth. Okay, and then that dark nostril there. All right, and the same with the eyes, the color of the eyes. Most dogs have brown eyes. I know some have different, um, but I'm gonna make it kind of like a brown eyed dog. So I'm gonna do a little bit lighter than the pupil, but darker than the hair around it. There we go. Fill that in a little bit here. And then I usually add just a little bit of dark underneath the eye, just to darken that a little bit. All right, so um, what we wanna do now is some blending and then we'll use our pencils again after that. So when I blend, um, I often use what is called the blending tool or a tor tortillion. And it's just paper wrapped super, super tight into almost a pencil shape. And this allows me to blend really small areas. Um, if you have one of those, feel free to use it today. If not, you can use a paper towel and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So you wanna take your paper towel and fold it in half, fold it in half again. And then I roll it really tight, like a pencil shape, almost like the shape of this blending tool there. So I'm trying to get it as tight as I can. Okay, so now it's all rounded. And then I take in the middle and I fold it down so it looks like it has two legs. And then I kind of twist those legs together so that they don't go flying all over. And then I hold it like a pencil. So now I have a real hard surface right here. And it kind of has some sharp points on it. And that's what I'm going to use to blend the edge. I'm going to use the edge of that to blend in my nose. So I'm gonna go over my nose and blend that all in so it makes it really smooth, smoother than my pencil. I'm gonna blend the mouth and use the other corner on the other side and blend the eye. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I can use the, the bigger surface part of that as I hold it like a pencil and I can blend over my hair. And what I'm going to do is just blend the direction that I drew of my lines. So I'm following the direction of my lines, just like that. So I'm just going the same, doing the lines in the order that I drew them just to make it easy for me. So now I did the eyebrow lines. So see how I'm blending in the direction of the lines. And I'm gonna blend on the other side in the direction of the lines. Underneath the eye, the cheeks of my dog. That looks so wonderful. It fills in, kinda doesn't, you still see some lines but it kind of fills in those white spaces and makes it look more full and thick rather than just some lines on your paper. Do the ears. All right, so your dog may be a little bit lighter than mine if you used a lighter, a harder lead on your pencil, if you had a different pencil than me. So that's okay. All right, so once you've got your dog all blended in, we are gonna go back and we are going to take our pencil one more time and we're gonna add some really dark lines to create a little bit of uh, more texture and a little bit of a, a shadow or a value. 
So between the ear and the dog's head, I'm going to just make some dark lines in there and that'll help kind of separate the two. So it'll look like an ear. So I'm just drawing some, I'm putting pretty heavy pressure and just drawing some lines on my ear there along the side of my face of my dog. I'm not scribbling, I'm only making lines. So I'm not scribbling it, I'm making lines. We always wanna just make individual lines and we'll still get that hair look if we do it that way. So there, now it looks like a little bit of shadow there. And then I'm gonna do it on the side of the face, add some lines in there, some darker lines on the side of the face. Underneath the eye, just a little bit, maybe a couple over the eye, not too many though. And then maybe under the mouth or under the nose and on the chin. There we go. Now I've got some dark, lines. This is going to just create more texture because you have some really dark areas, some medium areas, and now we're going to create some light areas. So this is where I use my eraser to draw lines. So don't think of erasing something. Think of it as drawing with your eraser. So I have an eraser with, I broke mine in half, so I had a sharp edge. You don't have to do that, but I just do that because I like a nice sharp edge. And a little trick to cleaning your eraser is to use a little piece of sandpaper and that will clean your eraser up and make it nice and clean so you have a nice clean eraser to use. So maybe your mom or dad has a little piece of sandpaper they'll let you have and that'll keep your erasers clean. All right, so now I have a nice little clean edge to my eraser there and I'm gonna use that to draw lines. So I'm gonna follow the same order that I did when I was drawing with my pencil, but I'm gonna make fewer lines with my eraser. I'm not gonna make as many lines. So I'm gonna make some line, and I'm using some pressure so I can see the lines. So I'm gonna follow the nose hairs here, making a few lines. I'm gonna follow these ones on top of the nose here, on top of the snout. And as your pen, eraser gets dirty, you can just change to a different side, to a different side of your eraser. So you want to make sure you're using a clean eraser to draw your lines. There. Now you're going to see how different that looks. Now I'm not going to add any white lines where I put the really dark lines on the side of the face and on the, on the inside of the ears. I'm not going to add any eraser lines there. Okay, so now I'm going to follow above my dog's eye on his um, head, just making a few lines. And this is gonna help create some great texture on your dog. And I'm gonna do some lines on the ear. See how I'm not doing quite as many lines as I did with my pencil. So I just want a few there there what a difference that makes now it looks really cool and i have some texture and value oops one more thing i forgot i almost forgot this part and this important part one other place we need to use our eraser let me clean my eraser here um i'm going to use the corner of my eraser and i want to make uh, across the top of the nose here, inside the nose, I'm gonna make a little line there with my eraser. So I'm gonna make the little line and then usually right underneath by the nostril, kind of underneath the nostril just a tiny bit, I'm gonna just make a little line there with my eraser. It kind of gives the nose a shiny, like it's a wet nose look. And then on the eye, I'm actually going to draw a little dot with my eraser between where the pupil and the colored part of the eye are. So I'm just going to make a little dot there. Oops, a little bit big. If it's a little bit too big, what you can do is you can take your pencil and you can fill in a little bit. If it's too big, that's okay. Or you can use your little blending tool to kind of fill in where you got a little too far. There we go. I just want a little bit of white on the eye and that just gives it a little bit of reflective light and makes it look a little more real. 
So there you go there. I'll get it out of the glare of the light. Now oh, that's really cool looking. That's a cute dog. So that is how you make a textured shaggy dog. So have fun with this project. I, I always have fun when I get to create this little shaggy dog. So thank you for joining me today. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.